One major section down, another one to go. Crews are wrapping up two years of work on a stretch of Bridge Boulevard. Next, they'll start working on a busy section that's been tormenting drivers for years. News 13's Natalie Wattis is live at Bridge and Old Coors with a look at what's coming. Natalie? Jessica, the county took on this project more than a decade ago. They started construction in 2020, and now they've knocked out a big part of this project. It was just awful. The roads were awful. The, the pavement was off of balance and everything, so it was pretty bad. Folks living along this busy stretch of bridge between Coors and Goff are looking at these orange traffic cones with relief. Joe Martinez remembers heavy traffic and unpleasant views here. Not so good for the car. No, no, are you kidding? No, there was, there was uh, potholes everywhere and stuff like that. But that's beautiful. I mean, the way they've do, they're doing it, oh, it's beautiful. This area, or phase one of the Bridge Boulevard Corridor Redevelopment Plan, is nearly finished. Along with more traffic lanes on tower, there's also new sidewalks, bike lanes, and medians on bridge. The price tag? Around $21 million. By August, the project engineer says they hope to have phase two underway. The phase two limits is the west side of the Barelas Bridge, which crosses over the river, all the way to Young Avenue, which is just on the other side of the Isleta. It's a half mile stretch that Clark expects to take a year to redo. But drivers beware. If you thought phase one congestion was bad. This one will actually be worse because we're so close to the river crossing right there and the bridge. Crews will, in part, tear out the asphalt and rebuild the storm drains to keep water from pulling up in the area. It's a good thing that they started here. That way they could have more experience down there because there's a lot more traffic down that way. <laughs> it's more to go and help the businesses and just the people to have pride in, in their area where they live at and, you know, make sure that we are addressing every part of the county and not just one aspect of the county or one portion of the county. And some feel the project is already doing just that. I really enjoy what they're doing there, and it's great for the community. It really is. And the project engineer tells me he expects that this next phase of the project will cost less than the phase they're wrapping up now. Jessica? All right, thank you, Natalie. Phase three could start late next year. That will cover the very busy intersections of Five Points and Bridge and Golf.